Hey guys, it's Ling. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make those beautiful ornaments. Uh, wait, what's that? Not the unicorn one though. The unicorn ornament would be a separate video. Okay, so those ornaments. So I know there are already a couple of videos out there that teach you how to make these. But for me, before I started making these ornaments, I wish there were more information out there. For example, like which type of paint, right? Or um, what if your paint is too thick? Or uh, like what kind of material? So plastic versus glass ornament. And the one thing that I see people complaining about is that their paint does not stay on the ornament the paint tends to chip off. So for me, I actually did not have that issue. So I think it would be a good idea to share with you guys exactly what type of paint, what brand or brands of paint that I used for the ornaments. So I am going to talk about all these in my video. So yeah, so I am going to quickly show you guys how to make these and then I will talk about some other information like different materials and things like that. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. I have tried two different brands of acrylic paint and both brands work pretty well. One of the brands is this Craft Smart brand, which you can find at Michael's for only 70 cents, around 70, 80 cents. The other brand is this Apple Barrel brand, which typically I believe is a little bit more expensive than the Craft Smart, but I was able to get them for a cheaper price because I purchased them in a set. I wanted to make a Christmas colored ornament, so I will be using green, red, and white. Typically, I see people using plastic cups, but I think that's not only a waste of the material plastic, but it will also waste your paint because typically plastic cups are larger and you will be wasting lots of paint when trying to transfer them from your cup to the ornament. So I will be using this small glass candle holder. Just pour a good amount of the first color, and then the second color, and then the third color. It's okay if the paint looks a bit, little bit thick. Just don't worry about that. One thing to keep in mind, it's also something that I wish I knew before it started, was say if you're going to use three colors, green, red, and white, you don't want to just uh, put each color in there once. Uh, after you put all the colors in, you want to go back in with that first color, so in this case green, and then red again, and white again, or maybe even a third time. So this way, you can make sure that all three colors will cooperate with each other well. Otherwise, if you go in with each color only once, you will end up seeing like large chunks of, say, green and red in your ornament. Now, to pour the paint into the ornament, you want to try not to drip the paint straight to the bottom, but instead you should try to let the paint slowly go down from the side. So here I am trying to pour the paint into the ornament while slowly turning my ornament. Be very patient with this part. By the way, I purchased all my clear ornaments from Michaels, and I actually have a Michaels craft supply haul video on my channel. And just when you think, wait, I don't have enough paint, wait a minute, use a popsicle stick to help you to get all the paint from the cup into your ornament. Look at all that paint that would be wasted if we didn't use a popsicle stick. It turned out that I still needed more paint, so I went ahead and added more. Now you see that most part of the ornament is covered with paint, so it's time to cover the top of the ornament with some paper towel and start shaking your ornament. 
Know that once you start shaking, the colors will start blending with each other. So in my case, red and green, you will start seeing a hint of brown. So if you don't want to see that, you probably should be using more paint instead of shaking the ornament. So just keep shaking until the whole ornament is covered with paint. Now the ornament is covered with paint. Leave it upside down in a container for about two hours to allow the extra paint to drip out of the ornament. Okay guys, so it has been more than a day, so this is how my ornament turned out. I like it. So what I did was I left my ornament upside down for a couple of hours, like two to three hours to allow the the liquid, the acrylic paint dripping out of the ornament. Then after that, I placed it right side up to allow the inside of the ornament to dry further. So I left it this way for uh, like overnight. And yeah, and after that, I just put the cap back on. I'm going to go over some tips next if you're not interested in that still, thanks for watching. So now I want to go over my ornaments one by one because I did something slightly different for each of them. So um, these are the things that you can definitely figure out if you make these ornaments, but for me I just wished that I knew them before I started. So let's uh, start with this one. So for this one, you can see that the colors are more blended. Um, so for this one, I used this brand of paint, the Apple Barrel. But when I was just starting, I thought, well, the paint was like too thick. So I didn't think, I, I thought it would take forever to cover the whole inside surface. So what I decided to do was to add some water to thin the paint. So I used two or three different colors, but as you can see that, um, you can still see the colors, you can still see some green here, um, but the colors are kind of really blended. By the way, you only need a couple of drops of water, like two or three drops. So in case if you're wondering, yes, you can use water to make the paint thinner, but you don't have to. So let's talk about this second one. So um, I made this second one by using the same method as what I just showed you guys uh, on camera of this one. So um, for this one, I just used the same brand of paint and um, I just used the three colors, pink, blue, and white, and I just did what I showed you guys. So it turns out great, and as you can see that the colors are not as mixed together as this one. Okay, so by the way, I wanted to make this one a Christmas themed, right? So the red and green, but you can um, hardly see all the colors. It still looks pretty though. Anyways, so this one I just used like my some of my favorite colors like pink <laughs> for this one. Um, now I am looking at it, it kind of looks like uh, ketchup and mustard, but no, the intention is to make this a sunset ornament because this one would be uh, a night sky ornament. Okay, anyways, so um, going back to this one. So for this one, I used a different brand of paint. So um, I used this one. This is a really cheap um, brand that you can find at Michael's. So uh, each bottle only costs like, I don't know, like 70 cents each. Yeah, so um, the brand that I just talked about, a a minute ago, this brand is, I think it is a little bit more expensive, but I actually got this for cheaper because I bought a set of like 12 of them for only like $5, I think. Okay, anyways, so for this ornament, I used this different brand. It also works, right? So nothing is chipping off, 
but um, the consistency of this brand of paint is thinner so as a result you can see that the paints are um, more blended mixed together so you don't really see that colors lines going on with this ornament but it still works it's still pretty I still like it okay for this one so for this one I used the first brand of paint the apple barrel uh, but this is a plastic ornament so if any of you guys are wondering well what if I use a plastic ornament will that still work the answer is yes it still works okay so um, that was all and I also do want to say that about shaking your ornament so the more you shake your ornament the uh, more blended the colors are going to be right so if you want more of a this kind of effect where you see different colors very well then you should probably use more paints um, and less shaking uh, but if you don't care because if you are okay with seeing uh, this type of effect um, I think this is pretty as well so then you don't have to use a lot of paint you can leave all those gaps in your ornament and then you can just shake it up to uh, for the paint to to let the paint cover all the inside surface okay so that is all and i hope that i hope this video is helpful and hopefully i can find time to make another video about this cute little unicorn ornament so if you liked today's video please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more upcoming videos and thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time Bye bye